Sebastian Schneider, you're helming Team Tilt in the GC32 racing tour very successfully. Um, now, the start, we always know that in racing of any kind, the start is really critical, but it seems with these reaching starts, it's really, really important. Um, and so just give us an idea of how do you choose which end of the line? Um, do, you choose, do you choose to line up early? Do you try and come in late and charge through with speed? What are the sort of things going through your mind? Yeah, well, the start is really critical and there are a lot of parameters that come in. I mean, every starts are quite different and you have to find the best way to start. Uh, for sure, when it's uh, lighter winds, you really need to be in front because then the, the fleet stretches a lot in the downwind. So usually if you start to leeward, you really have to succeed, otherwise you get all the bad air from the boat to windward. So you have to, to decide if you want to take the risk to start to leeward or have a safer start to windward, which is sometimes... If you don't have a um, default. Um, yeah, keep the dog on a leash and keep the boat on a leash um, yeah. before the start. Don't start too early because that's expensive as well, of course. Yeah, but. it's quite expensive and it's pretty hard. I just started to start uh, start on the leash. It's quite new for me, but uh, the timing to the line is really important and to know how fast the boat is going to accelerate is key. So, yeah, you have to do more and more starts to feel the boat. When you're doing um, your practice runs beforehand and, and you're getting your eye in for the first yeah. reach to the first mark, what kind of discussions are you having in terms of uh, is it that is that to help determine which is the favorite end of the line? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's really important to find the right angle and find the angle where you will be able to fly as soon as possible, and to try to feel uh, how fast can you pop up on the foils. So, yeah, the training runs are really key to to have good starts on the on the race. And so some boats start, uh, they like starting at the leeward end, yeah. um, sometimes without Jenica. Yeah. Some others like always starting at the windward end and maybe mm. favouring the Jenica. If you have that sort of choice and it looks like it could be one thing or the other, what tends to be your default option? I would say in the, in the, in the breeze I like to start to leeward because the, the bad air from the windward boats are not so, so big, but uh, in lighter winds... I would go for a safer option at the moment and start to win world. But for sure, uh, with more training and more hours, uh, I would prefer to be able to have a good start to lure and, and win the race from the start. So the lured end, it, it, that gets you inside at the first mark. Yeah. So that's the reason for wanting that, is it? Yeah, I think, I think if you can do some good leeward uh, starts, it's really a, a game winner. And it's a really a good skill to have in your, in your pocket. And if you just want good safe starts and you just want to be in the top three, um, what's the sort of the safest option? Yeah, I think the safest option would be, well, first of all, to be on speed at the, at the top and be on the line. And then if you really want to be safe, you can start to win world, but sometimes it means that you have to do more distance. So it means you will not really, most of the times you will not be first, but you will always be in, in a good position. Sebastian, thanks very much, and we wish you luck for the rest of the season. Thanks.